speaking of speaking of creativity, uh, Jordan, would you mind uh, walking us through our Excel weekly topic, which this week is all about how crazy you can get and how creative you can get in Excel? That's right. So today's topic is weird Excel, and uh, by weird Excel, we mean things that you can do in Excel that you probably didn't know you could do or uh, things you could do differently. One um, clear example, which I have graciously lifted from the My Online Training Hub webpage, which I will share with you in one second, is this cube. This Excel 3D financial report cube. Now, I don't really know. She did, she did like a cake recently, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Like a, also um, a cake as like well. A, like a, what was it like a minefield? What's that? What's the Minecraft. name of that game? Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft, a Minecraft right. cake. I saw that. I was like, how'd she do that? That's awesome. <laughs> So, oh, thank you. This is, uh, so we'll have this uh, posted up um, later, so you can all take a look. But this is something created by uh, Roberto Mensa at wow. uh, his E90E50 blog. And you can go through it, and you can see how to create it. But it's definitely um, original. It's definitely um, ingenious. And in fact, I would make sure, I'm scrolling around here, make sure to check out this blog and the work there um, that he does in conjunction with the Frankenstein really, really cool, mind-blowing stuff. So this is an example of what I would say Weird Excel. And I actually have one more example made by yours truly. Um, so let me pull that up. Yeah. Right here. Sorry about that, folks. All right, so this, this is a maze I created. Now, this is actually the thing that I dreamed up that I was telling uh, Rick that I dreamed the answer to. So this is a 3D maze. So I'm going to start over. Here's my dude right here. I'll make a left. I'm going down this hallway. And this is actually just an area. Uh, yeah, just a, um, a sand, or no, yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember now. It's a um, layered area chart. So these are actually all just different charts here. Um, and there's been some improvements made by uh, Pedro Wave, and I did this in conjunction with Kerry Watkins' blog. But this is really just not something that is in any way useful. Um, as you might imagine, I've not had any business requests for this, but um, <laughs> could do a branded still, one. Yeah, it's true. I'm still hoping. Someone on Shandu actually turned it into a real game uh, where you collect stuff. So I couldn't find it, but um, maybe we'll we'll add that into the uh, uh, add that in after after we're done. So um, so these are just sort of um, things you can you can do uh, with Excel if you feel so inclined. So. Weird Excel, starting off, so I will give it to you, the panel. Discuss. Yeah. That was pretty neat. Actually, for my son's birthday, which is why I made the Minecraft cake, one of my um, members sent an Excel workbook that had a game in it. It was Zerka. He didn't design it, but he found it somewhere. And um, he, he had to... It was a bit like Pac-Man and shooting and collecting things in different levels. And just incredible that... You know, I'm sure that people, when they developed Excel, had no idea it would be used for these kind of in, intentions, but it, it was brilliant, brilliantly done. I don't know how it worked, but, yeah, it was amazing. Wow. All right. So, so I, got two, I got two things to show, Jordan. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, share my desktop here. One moment. QA. Uh, oh, sorry. Is that wrong? We don't see anything. Okay, one moment, trying again. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> All right, so yeah. you see this? So this is over at uh, Jordan's blog, the option explicit VBA.com. So I thought this was so cool the first time I saw it. And the, uh, so this is a, a Christmas card, or a, sorry, a holiday card. And actually, come over here, you can <laughs> download the card. Uh, but here he, he lets it snow, and it snows. Then after a while, he, uh, he can plow the snow, which clears everything out, and let it quit snow. And so this is basically a holiday card that was built in Excel. Uh, but one of the other things that you had mentioned, Jordan, was Kerry Walken's blog. And I'm just, uh, I just love this blog. So you know, in addition to Roberto Menso's stuff over at Franken's Teams, which you know, I hope we're going to talk about in a second, um, the, uh, what Kerry Walken does here I think is just really slick. So... If you don't know, this time last year, almost exactly a year ago, this guy here, this this guy who's an accountant now, who was getting his MBA, uh, who's now a, a CPA, he, he was starting to learn how to build macros in Excel as part of his class. So 
he built a role-playing video game inside of Excel. So you can actually download this for free. You know, I'm not going to download it here. But basically, in this role-playing game, you set yourself up as a character. And in the character, you go through a journey. And, and you get into battles with, like, uh, with unicorns and orcs and elves and all kinds of stuff. So basically, based on whatever journey you take, ends up being, uh, you know, what your reward is the end of this so basically it's an entire role-playing game it goes on for hours and hours built completely in excel wow those are my two things cool. well thanks for that rick yeah <laughs> well, I, uh, I will share something really simple um it's, it's, it's not the um brainiac type of thing well, I've been taking um, improv classes at Second City, and in our level B, um, our instructor said, don't come into a scene with nothing. Have some ideas in your mind already, right, as far as your role, mood, and location. So I said, okay, let me just play with this. So. I built um, some drop downs in Excel and then loaded it through Excel web app onto a web page. And so now, right now with 285 and 56, so our role is landlord, mood is lecturers, location is a boat, right? And one to 188, you get to choose something else. So let's see, what, give me a number. 37. 37. So the landlord is lecturing in a karate class. <laughs> and, and one other number. 42. 16. Huh? Sorry. 16? 16. Yeah. A fisherman. All right. And it's set up with the validation and everything in it. Right? So if you, so the mood goes up to 107. So if you choose 111, it won't take it. Right? But you can do, say, 107, and wind up with threatened. All right. So that is a little that's was weird, but fun. And no, it is. It is kind of different. I mean, this is you know, it's in line with uh, it's in line with what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, Excel is it just a business tool? Is it just a dashboard tool? No, clearly it's not. I mean, it's something that we can be very cre creative. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this is a great thing. Great thing. All right. So, All right, so, so, so if, yeah. If nobody's going to talk about Franken's teams, then I'm going to I'm going to I want to go ahead and show that to everybody. Then do it. Nobody's going to jump in. One moment. Fine, sir. Okay. So, see my desktop. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is just cool. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, come on up here to sites.google.com sites and just type in E90, E50 charts. This thing is like, as far as you talk about creativity of things that you do with Excel, and as you look at this, you would think that this was built in, you would think that this was not built in Excel, right? But every single thing that you see here, unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken, uh, all these things are built in Excel. I mean, look at these graphics. And the They're cool thing soft, about this, I think as well. yeah, it's just this is just so cool, right? And it, outside of just it being cool, on every single one of these, you'll see there's a download button, so you can download the code or basically download the Excel spreadsheet that's creating, you know, all of these charts. So this is um. And I think Jordan, you might know the names better than I do. I know Roberta Mensa and is it Chris Kristen? Sorry, I get the names messed up. And Christina. Uh, and Devil. Either, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wish I should look it up just to make sure we get them. Gabor Maddox, I think his name. Well, I'm no, gonna they, go ahead they and stop. are the the three there. Uh, the three of them are. Um, they're doing things with Excel that. I would have never thought possible mm -hmm. in my life. Yes. You're really pushing the envelope. So um, 
I'm trying to think how to say this. They've done things that have really influenced my work. Um, you know, there's certain things before I, I got on the LinkedIn forums. I guess I thought I was good at Excel, and then I met Roberto, and he was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at least I thought I was good at formulas. You know. No, no, no he's the master. <laughs> he's the formula master, and he will tell whenever, you. Well, <laughs> whenever I have a formula, I think, yeah, this one's good, but I'm going to send it to Roberto, and I bet you he can make it better. I just send him a quick email, go a little challenge for you, and he comes back within like minutes with something half the length of what I've used and just extraordinary application of functions you would not have ever put in a wow. formula. You know, just amazing. Uh, for, first time I saw that web, I, just, I was just amazed. So that's just some really cool, really cool creative stuff. Yeah, a lot of good stuff there. But, 